Everyone and everything is being canceled. But it begs the question, is it worth being outraged over when there's so many things being talked about and saying this is a problem and this is a problem. This is problematic. This needs to be canceled. This person needs to be a go away. So on and so forth. In this video, I want to examine that. All the stuff that recently, every time I log into Twitter and whatnot and see that something needs to be canceled or somebody's been canceled or whatever, I want to examine if it's warranted or if it's just complete trash. So we're going to get into that. But before we do, I have to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, and that's Purple Mattress, baby. <laughs> As the world becomes increasingly uncomfortable, we need all the comfort we can get. And ladies and gentlemen, Purple products are here to make us comfortable when we need it most. So guys, this is my first time partnering with Purple and I didn't know much about their products. I've seen all of the ads, I've seen all that stuff, but now I finally got to try something for myself. I got this seat cushion and I never thought about getting a seat cushion because you know, whatever, I do have back problems, but I just like, I'm just gonna handle it like a quote unquote man, right? But uh, they sent this to me, and when I tried it out, legitimately, lower back pain that I just kind of ignored, I was like, oh wow, I don't feel it anymore when I'm sitting. And something that I also noticed is that my butt isn't completely warming up. It's not becoming nuclear. And why that is, because right here, the air circulates and flows through the purple grid without being trapped so you'll never overheat. It's pretty dope because I have that problem with my seats and my memory foam mattress and stuff getting way too hot and then having to throw off my blankets or just getting naked or whatever. So if you guys can tell, I'm pleasantly surprised. Like legitimately, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna use this. This is pretty dope. And which makes me think, I'm gonna have to throw out my memory foam mattress and I'm, I'm gonna have to get a purple mattress because I'm telling you, this I was, I'm kind of shocked. This is pretty dope. So ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna be a lot more comfortable, you should snag some purple products. Their grid is pretty dope, and I love the purple, man, as you can tell by the aesthetic. So go to purple.com slash SBG where you can get 10% off of any order of $200 or more. So just snag a bunch of stuff, man, and you're going to save some good old money. You'd appreciate it, man. Your body wants you to be comfortable. So listen to it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start Cancel Palooza. Supreme victory! So as you can see, new lighting got a little tired of the doom and gloom, you know, Thanos ambiance. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. Got my old school beanie back on. Feeling pretty good. But all right, let's get into this whole cancel culture stuff. You guys know what it's all about. But there's just been so many things happening recently that just people have been fixating on. And I really want to just go through the gamut you know so let's start off with mass effect something that's very near and dear to my heart i love the mass effect franchise and uh there was something that happened not that long ago because people um over at bioware announced that they're remastering the mass effect franchise the trilogy they're gonna put it out i think in the spring and then there was some talk about miranda lawson one of the characters from mass effect 2 and 3 uh, she's kind of her uh, her booty got canceled essentially <laughs> according to Walter's environment director Kevin Meek is the one who brought these odd camera angles to the rest of the team's attention Kevin actually called out some camera cuts that were just dot 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 why was that focusing on Miranda's butt really nigga Walter said so in some cases we said okay we can make a change there. It would seem that these unnecessary shots and perhaps a few others were the only scenes in the game to be excised or altered. Unnecessary shots. Unnecessary shots, people. So this Kevin Meek guy is a freak. <laughs> Either that, I mean, it, you, you have to have some type of like lack of sexuality or something like maybe being asexual to not understand the point of that it's it's like why put in hot people in movies or something it would be the same line as that like why would you do anything like that it's such a rhetorical thing because humans are sexual in nature it's built it's built into us so we like seeing sexy things so miranda lawson who is genetically altered to be perfect in every way possible. You know, she's supposed to be beautiful to gain an advantage because it does, that, that's, a, that's a real thing. 
and uh, just her combat skills, her intelligence, she's just genetically modified to be superior in every way. And she has a very, like, very superior assets. And so the, the developers would show it off, and then the people that consumed it appreciate it. They're like, oh, oh that's hot. hot. You know, but it wasn't really any big deal. Like, the, the fact that they're actually removing these, these scenes, like, where they're focusing on her butt, it's not a big deal, but it's also... It wasn't a big deal in the first place, so it's like, why remove it? Who is this bothering? Who, who Did anybody actually have a problem with this at all? Even with all the hyper social justice stuff that was happening, you know, years ago, 2014, all that stuff, people weren't really complaining about Miranda Lawson's butt. It wasn't really the talk of the town. You know, maybe like an Anita Sarkeesian would brought it up or something like that, but she doesn't matter. It's not real, it's not real, it's, no one actually cares. So as far as, does this deserve it? Should this have been something that have been brought up at all? Absolutely not. Is it a big deal? Like, am I angry? No, I mean, it's, Miranda Lawson, she's a fine character, she's cool. But like, at the end of the day, it's not taking away from the franchise itself, but it's just unnecessarily messing with something that literally was zero, had zero problems whatsoever. So next I want to focus on Pepe Le Pew because that was something that I mentioned in one of my previous videos and uh, this one's a little bit interesting because as I said in my other video that from a young age I understood that Pepe Le Pew was <laughs> he had some problems he was kind of interesting he was kind of problematic and we watched a Pepe Le Pew and I'm old now I'm looking like good god kind of fucking rapist is this guy like take it easy <laughs> Come on, that people sitting there cracking up. <laughs> See, sometimes you gotta take the pussy like Pepe, like, whoa, whoa. And this is something that a lot of people understand. So when, and why this got brought up was because Space Jam 2 was gonna come out with LeBron James sometime, I don't know when, but sometime in the future. And uh, I guess there was a scene with Pepe Le Pew where he was supposed to be like lusting after one of the, one of the actors and she was gonna like put him in his place. But I guess there was a decision to just cut that scene out altogether because they're like, we don't even want to give Pepe Le Pew that opportunity to be a scumbag like he usually is, you know, because it's not okay. And it was it was actually interesting because t the actor she said that she wanted that in the scene to for it to be like a teachable moment to young people. But as much as I'm like I understand her point of view, I also think. Nobody needs to be taught that. No one needs to be taught not to completely grab on women and just keep pursuing them and sexually assault them and stuff like that. That's not something that needs to be taught. The people, the men, the people that do shit like that, it's they know it's wrong, they just don't care. There isn't, there's gonna be a small amount of outliers that have no idea. They're like, oh, they just thought it was right because maybe they were raised that way or something. But almost everybody else, if the woman is uncomfortable, complaining, screaming, whatever it is, and they keep doing it, they know what that means. They don't care. So the idea of having to teach, it's like, you don't need to teach kids that. As a kid, I understood Pepe Le Pew was pretty, was a scumbag. Um, you are my peanut. I am your brittle. Like, you don't, you don't pursue women that way. I mean, I understand, say, back in the day, maybe there was a lot of men being persistent as far as asking women out, you know? Maybe that's a little bit weird nowadays as well. I mean, it kind of is, really, because, hell, you can't really just approach women anymore. That's like, and that's not even like a OG golly bummer thing, but things are so digital. Now it's kind of like, oh, message them, DM them, and stuff like that, opposed to, just walking up to a woman in a supermarket and asking her like for her number like that shit kind of doesn't really fly anymore at least for the most part there's some older women gen x and all that stuff they probably still accept that but if you're going gen z and all that shit they're probably thinking that you're the biggest creep in the world <laughs> so do i have a problem with pepe Le Pew being canceled not really i mean he's a character in the cartoons that i never cared about wasn't that interesting like i said he was just always weird to me uh I wouldn't even say it didn't really seem that entertaining. That's not anything when I ever thought about Looney Tunes or anything that was associated with Warner Bros. I never I never thought of like, Pebble Le Pew was so dope, man. 
And it's like, oh, I can't believe they're taking that scene. And I'm like, nah, man, like, whatever, I get it. That's fine. The next one is Mr. Potato Head. And this is one that I really genuinely didn't understand. And when I heard anything about it, I just rolled my eyes. So apparently what was happening, well, what was in the spear, what was it? I think Hasbro, I should have looked it up. I'm pretty sure it's Hasbro. Could be Mattel. I, I don't care. <laughs> but the, the toy company that manufactured Mr. Potato Head said, hey, we're getting rid of the 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 sir like the prefix like mr or mrs or whatever from my understanding and then a lot of people took it as a, a way of like oh they're removing gender and all this stuff and they're just making it neutral just calling it potato head and so there was a certain lane of people that were that were disappointed they're like i can't believe they're doing this this is social justice i work blah 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 this and this and that and then afterwards they came out and clarified exactly what they were doing. Where Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head are still available, but the brand itself is just called Potato Head. Now, here's the interesting thing. I don't know if that was what was supposed to be the idea from the first place and it got kind of taken out of context, or if they responded to the backlash. In my opinion, I think it's the former because the backlash was gonna be so small anyway. So why would they have to change what they were originally gonna do? Like, we're gonna get rid of Mrs. and Mr. all together. And then like, they felt a little bit of pressure and they're like, oh, just kidding, just kidding. We're gonna call it Potato Head and then you can choose between your Mr. and Mrs. Like, that seems like a stupid, like why would they change your, in any peer pressure? Because who's buying Mr. Potato Heads? Who's buying the Potato Heads? Like, I think the only time Potato Head was popular when I was growing up was because of Toy Story. And I know Potato Head was kind of like a neat thing for like, Old, uh, older generations and stuff but i don't know anyone who's buying mr potato heads or mrs potato heads for their for their kids nowadays seemed like maybe a good pr stunt to like kind of boost some sales i mean you had people like trying to buy mr and mrs and then they were selling shit on ebay jacking up the prices because thinking like oh it's gone forever and i'm like i can't believe people are talking about this it's mr potato head <laughs> I can't believe anybody would be upset with this in any way, shape, or form. If there was no potato heads anymore, if there was only just gay potato heads, would you... Why would you... <laughs> why are you upset? It's a fucking potato toy. So, I don't even think potato head, because of that, was being canceled at all. And I think the people that were... And any way, shape, or form, upset. Like, what are you doing? Now, another one that's interesting and has to do with, like, children's toys kind of a deal is Dr. Seuss. Now, Dr. Seuss canceled one or two other books or something, particularly one that was problematic because of the way they depict um, Asian people and the way that they talked about them as well. Now, it's old-timey, old-school stuff, so you know how people talked and did some stuff back in the day. It's, uh, it's no surprise that you would find some things that were somewhat racist or just full and blatantly and it was completely fine back in the day. So basically the Dr. Seuss publishers were like, eh, let's, we, let's, just, let's just, let's get rid of these things. Who cares? Who cares? Now, the problem that a lot of people are having is, well, you're changing the art, you're altering history. Why are you doing this? Why are you removing these things? And I think that was the biggest sentiment of that, of of being the, of where some of the outrage came from. Uh, personally, I don't care about that. I don't agree with the anger or whatever, or some of the talking points that people were saying. Or I was seeing some people say that, oh, it's not even that bad. I'm like, well, look, I know it's, 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 it is subjective to some people. Like some people don't care at all. They're like, I don't think that's bad at all. But some people do. And number one, it wasn't like a big, huge seller. It wasn't It wasn't a book. First of all, like me, I don't even care about Dr. Seuss books. Even back in the day, I didn't really find any value in them. But I'm not, no offense to the people that did or maybe are buying them for their kids or something. But I don't know, man. They didn't really do it. The one fish, two fish and all that shit. Didn't care. Um, and it didn't seem like anybody would notice if they didn't say anything at all. Like if they didn't say anything about like removing some books out of like their 
their publishing sphere or whatever, I don't think anybody would have noticed, anyone would have cared. It was the fact that people said something, and like I said, it can always just be PR um, ammo. To, it just kind of helps them get more sales because that's what people kind of do. And then, of course, I saw people uh, buying the books and sharing them and all this stupid shit. Like, full-grown adults doing stuff like this. And I'm like, okay, all right then. You know, like, look. You know how, like, in the beginning, I was upset. Um, I wouldn't even say upset. That's the wrong word. I was annoyed with what the developers did with Miranda Lawson and the cutscenes. Like, I'm like, what's the... Why do that at all? The reason why I was annoyed by that is because her behind just showing that is not it's not actually offensive to anybody. These Dr. Seuss books are offensive to some people and they're not selling well anyway. So they made the decision to just ax them. Mass Effect 2 where Miranda Lawson was first introduced, is the best game of that franchise. People know this and people remember that stuff quite a bit. Removing that stuff, people are going to notice. Like I said, if they're freaking out, silly. But at the same time, you have to question why they did that. It's totally unnecessary, in my opinion, and probably everybody else's opinion, because I can't think of one objective reason why they did it. Other than just some fucking a a asexual weirdo saying that it's weird. This, I understand it. Would I have done the same thing in their position? Maybe. Maybe I would have just quietly removed the shit if I felt the need to do it. You know, but to the people that were getting off, because I, I saw people like, we're focusing on problematic Dr. Seuss stuff when this stuff is happening. And I'm like, I think you are. I think it's you. I, th this would not... Imagine if you heard this um, this announcement about the Dr. Seuss stuff, and then you just went like this. Oh, that's weird. And then it was done, and it was over. <laughs> Imagine, you wouldn't even have the opportunity to say, I can't believe we're focusing on this and not this. I'm like, bro, you don't have to. The pundits that you listen to don't have to focus on it. They're the ones that are fucking telling you to focus on it. And I'm over here laughing about it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, we've talked a lot about mundane stuff that was getting canceled, right? The last thing I wanted to bring up is not objects or anything like that. Not art, but a person, David Dobrik, as you can see in the thumbnail. I wanted to bring this up because, in my opinion, this is something that makes sense. Something that people should focus on. And I don't think, I think unanimously across the board, people understand and agree that, yeah, I get why he's being canceled. <laughs> you know, David Dobrik with his vlog squad, which I, I made a mini rant about that, were just doing the dumbest stuff, man. Like making a video about like, we're going to try to coerce these women into having a threesome with this dirty Dom. I kept saying dirty Dan in the last video. <laughs> I just kept thinking of SpongeBob. But anyway... They did what they did. I'm sure all of you know what happened. And look, David Dobrik didn't directly assault these women or, or woman. Or, but dude was totally complicit. It was on his channel. This is some shit that like you can't believe that people just can just do. And then you have me. I'm thinking before I'm saying like, I can't even rant the to the best of my abilities like I did back in the day when monetization was still pretty normal when you were able to just kind of just rant and just say whatever five f-bombs 10 doesn't really matter you're still gonna get the same monetization now shoot you say one ooh, mm, you're on thin ice you say another thing oh you, you, your, your videos demonetized and you're like oh cool I made two bucks from this video <laughs> meanwhile these guys getting the best ads the best of everything and then they do shit like that. They 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 do stuff like that. And I'm like, good. Get him out of here, man. Get him and anybody else out of here that's that's doing dumb shit like that, man. I will say, like, you know me. I'm not a fan of censorship. And that's what a lot of people try to argue with a lot of these subjects and stuff. Where I'm like, 
If it seems important to me, I definitely care. If it's some dumb bullshit like a fucking book or a toy, I don't care. But David Dobrik, you can eat my ass. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. I want to give a huge shout out to my mega sexy, oh, sorry, my hard art, hardest of our patrons. You guys are the best. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.